Hello everyone. So, we are leaving Melbourne Airport with China Eastern Airlines today. Head into the UK for a holiday. We've got two weeks of adventure ahead and let me tell you, we've planned something for every single day we are there and we are super excited as well. Our journey from Melbourne to London was a long one. We took a 10-hour flight to Shanghai and had a 7-hour layover before catching our next flight. That's a lot of waiting. Then another 12-hour flight to London Heathrow Airport. The whole journey to come to London took us almost 30 hours. After coming to London Heathrow Airport, we navigated the vibrant array of public transport options. Ultimately, hopping on the Piccadilly line, a pocket-friendly and a convenient choice and we came to London King's Cross Railway Station. We had already booked the train tickets from London King's Cross to Newcastle. The train to Newcastle took about three and a half or four hours. Finally, after about 38 hours since leaving from home in Melbourne, we arrived at our friend's place in Newcastle. We were super tired but thrilled for what's ahead. We first glimpsed the beauty of UK through our friend's window. As we landed in the UK at night time, we did not get to see the country right away. But wow, the first scene we saw outside our friend's home was truly refreshing and beautiful. After a bit of shopping in Newcastle, we made our way to see the Angel of the North. This iconic sculpture symbolizes hope and regeneration for the future. The angel's wings are gracefully angled forward as if embracing all who pass beneath it. Adjacent to the angel, there is a serene wooded area where people come to hang or place memories of their departed loved ones from photograph to clothes and other cherished mementos. This site is truly heartwarming to behold. We indulged in a scenic two-hour drive from Newcastle to Edinburgh in Scotland. We had already booked an Airbnb in Edinburgh where we could enjoy a quality time with our close friends and their daughter after many years. The next day, we went to explore Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, which is famous for its old buildings, interesting history and lively vibe. There are two main parts of the city, the old town and the new town. The old town has narrow streets and old buildings that look like they are from a long time ago. It's full of stories and history around every corner. On the other hand, the new town has wider streets and fancy houses giving it a different feel from the old town. Driving through Edinburgh, we were amazed by how it mixes old and new history and modern life. It's a place that invites you to explore and discover its charm at every turn. One of the must-see spots in Scotland is Edinburgh Castle, sitting high on a hill with stunning views of the city. It's like stepping into a storybook with walls that have seen kings, battles and legends unfold over hundreds of years. Exploring the castle feels like travelling back in time with its ancient buildings and amazing views. Visiting Edinburgh Castle is not just about history, it's about feeling the strength and spirits of Scotland's past. That's my place! We also visited the Carlton Hill, another beautiful viewpoint offering panoramic vistas of Edinburgh skyline. Adorned with iconic monuments and lush greenery, Carlton Hill provides a serene escape from the bustle of the city, inviting visitors to reveal in the natural beauty that surrounds them. We are back in Newcastle with our friends for another day of exploring local life.
and then we are hopping on a long bus ride headed towards London. It will take about 6 and a half hours to 7 hours to get from Newcastle to London. But we are getting off at Milton Keynes where my cousin brother lives. England has breathtaking landscapes abundant with lush greenery from rolling hills to tranquil countryside scenery, especially beyond the bustling cities where pristine nature remains untouched. It is truly a marvel. However, navigating public transport in England can be quite costly. To save money, it's advisable to book buses or trains at least two weeks in advance, especially for long distance journeys. Booking on the day of travel or close to the departure date often incurs significantly higher costs. One distinctive feature of many houses in England is their roofs, which often have a slope design. This architectural feature serves a practical purpose, particularly in regions prone to heavy snowfall. The sloped roof helps to efficiently shed snow, preventing accumulation and ensuring the structural integrity of the house during winter. Now we are in Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle is a historic royal residence located in the country of Berkshire in England. It is notable for being the oldest and largest inhabited castle in the world. A part of the castle is open to the public, attracting millions of visitors annually. This is a high security area and no cameras are allowed inside the castle. The castle has been a royal residence for over 900 years and has served as the home of British monarchs for much of that time. With the passing of the Queen, King Charles has inherited Windsor Castle from his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. Windsor Castle serves various functions. It hosts state visits and ceremonial events. It has been witness to pivotal moments in British history, serving as the backdrop for royal weddings, state funerals and official ceremonies. Today, Windsor Castle remains a symbol of Britain's rich heritage and continues to be integral to the life of the royal family. Windsor Castle holds immense historical and cultural significance for the United Kingdom. When driving in England, especially in rural areas such as villages and countryside settings, there are houses with thatched roofs as part of the traditional architecture and cultural heritage of the region. Thatched roofs lend these buildings a distinctive and charming appearance contributing to the picturesque countryside landscapes. We are now in Leicester, at my cousin sister's home. Seeing family after a long time is always a pleasure. We've been able to experience local life in the UK for the few days we spent with them. Leicester is known for its rich cultural diversity, historical significance and vibrant city life, making it a unique and dynamic destination in the heart of England. While we were in Leicester, unfortunately we lost our beloved drone to heavy winds. It fell uncontrollably beyond the reach of the remote controller. We suspect it may have landed on the roof of a nearby church, but despite thorough searching, we were unable to locate it. In England, one of the remarkable experiences is the abundance of vibrant colors found in its nature. The golden yellow, green and red leaves on the trees create a picturesque scenery that brings joy and calmness to our minds. The fresh and clean air that envelops these natural surroundings offers a refreshing breath, nourishing both body and soul.
Now we have arrived at the Velan Viaduct, a marvel of Victorian engineering. Standing at 1.2 kilometers long, it is the longest viaduct across a valley in the United Kingdom. With its 82 arches, it is an iconic feature of the landscape, facilitating railway transportation and connecting the Midlands to the north of England. Its impressive design and historical significance make it a must-see attraction for visitors interested in both engineering and architectural marvels. The main reason for our visit to England is to participate in the graduation ceremony of my master's degree. It's a proud and significant moment in my life because this academic achievement was the result of my hard work and dedication. How are we doing? Good, thank you. The graduation ceremony was filled with joy, pride and sense of accomplishment making me proud of myself. Then it was my part. I'm coming there. Okay. Okay. She, she did it last moment. Then we arrived in London. From its bustling streets to its world-class attractions, London offers an unforgettable blend of tradition, innovation and global influence. Roaming around London at night provides spectacular scenery, as the beauty of the city illuminated by lights can be seen. Even in the late hours, the city remains bustling with the public transportation readily available. However, be cautious of scammers who may try to rob you of your money. The British Museum is a must visit spot in London, and the best part is entry is free. Inside, we can discover a wealth of artifacts from around the world, showcased in the rich traditions, arts and values of different countries. It's like embarking on a global adventure without even ever leaving London. London is a vibrant city with plethora of attractions to explore. London Tower Bridge, Sherlock Holmes Museum, Big Ben and the London Eye are just a few of the iconic attractions we can explore in London. Taking an Uber boat is a fantastic way to enjoy stunning views of the city while travelling between these landmarks. London is a melting pot of multiculturalism with a diverse population that adds to its vibrant atmosphere. What we loved the most about London was how incredibly friendly and welcoming Close the people are, people making our experience school, truly memorable. Is in your local area? Well, yeah. I try and do that through oh, my channel cool. Perth Vision. Right. So. Bye. Bye. Oh, you're belonging. Uh, yeah. <laughs> bye, bye. bye. Thank you. Please. Okay. Welcome to UK and have a good time as well. It's got a nice, strong flavour because it's two years old. <laughs> After spending two days exploring London, we returned to Melbourne with a wealth of wonderful memories from Scotland and England. Reconnecting with our family and friends was particularly refreshing and heartwarming, making our trip even more special. So let's meet again in another beautiful destination like this. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel.